I have made some changes to the breeding tank where I have the male and female flower horns. I've added a divider, a glass divider at the center with an area in which the female can pass at the back alone and the male can fit. So she is free to go in the back there at any point in time if she wishes. And they can still interact via the glass there. I have also placed a terracotta style dish there. I know some sometimes the females prefer to lay in that type of surface. Also tiles with a slightly rough edge can be used um, in breeding tanks. So as you can see he is still being a bit aggressive with her since that uh, first batch of fry. So that's why I have the separator there until they can show that they have paired better then I would remove the glass for them to do their mating rituals or their dance as they see right so a good tip as well is to have good flow when you have the separator so that the hormones can pass around between the two and induce the spawning so here I have a, a very small boy you canister filter here that does the trick and it aerates as well it pushes the water flow back and forth and on this side i also have a sponge filter which is quite effective as you guys would know and until he stops doing that nipping at her there so when you have an aggressive meal like this this is sometimes some of the, the steps that you may have to take to get uh, the spawning process done a little bit more better with less damage right so just an update for you and speaking of the fry let me just show you what's going on over there 